Before starting the Phase 2 heel, make sure you've completed Phase 1, where we teach proper positioning. In Phase 2, we start to teach discipline, so whether you have an excitable dog or an aggressive dog, it'll give you better control over your walks. Not only is it important for our dog to remain in the correct heel position, but they should also be more focused on us than their environment. Instead of using no as our warning, we're going to use distinct warning steps. We're going to use these warning steps whenever our dog is out of the heel position or if they're focused on a distraction. Using body language instead of the no allows us to keep to the command structure so that heel can easily relate to the other commands. It also requires that our dog pay closer attention to us since this is the only way to avoid the correction. This makes for a more enjoyable walk since we can keep a conversation going without having to tell our dog no. So what we have here is our heel chart to help us explain proper positioning and when we would use our warning steps and correction. So the proper place for your dog to be during heel is with their front paws behind your left heel at all times. So even as you're walking, if you step forward with your right foot, their front paws should remain behind your left heel or up to a foot behind. There are four different ways that your dog could be out of position. They can either lag behind, forge ahead, or veer to the left or to the right. For every mistake your dog can make, there's a different warning step that we use. Each warning is going to involve just one change in your step. Again, timing is important, so we want to make sure as soon as our dog moves out of position, we're going to do our warning step and then go back to our natural pace. So for example, if our dog lags behind, as soon as they go beyond that one foot distance, we're going to do one long step forward. If your dog moves back into position, you're going to praise your dog. If not, then immediately after giving your long step, you're going to put your hand on the leash, rotate your wrist inward to apply gentle pressure, repeat the heel command. Once your dog is back into position, you're going to release pressure and praise them. Heel. Good girl. So if your dog should forge ahead, as soon as their front paws cross the back of your left heel, you're going to take one short step. If they move back into position, praise them. Good boy. If not, you're going to put your left hand on the leash and rotate your wrist to apply gentle pressure on the halty, repeat the word heel. Once they're back in position, you're going to praise them and release the pressure. If your dog veers to the left, as soon as your dog moves away from your leg, you're going to take one side step to the right. If your dog moves back in position, praise them. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. If not, you're going to put your left hand on the leash, rotate your wrist to apply gentle pressure to the halty, repeat the word heel. Once your dog is back in position, you're going to release pressure and praise them. Heel. Good girl. If your dog should veer behind you to the right, you're going to take one side step to the left. If your dog moves back into position, praise them. Good girl. Good girl. If not, you're going to put your left hand on the leash, rotate your wrist to apply gentle pressure to the halty while repeating the heel command. Once they're back in position, release pressure and praise them. Heel. Good boy. If your dog is fixated on a distraction, we're going to use the direction that your dog is looking in to determine which of the warning steps that we'll use. So if your dog is looking behind them, we're going to treat it as if they're lagging and do one long step. If your dog is staring straight ahead, we're going to treat it as if they're forging and do one short step. If your dog is looking to the left or to the right, we're going to treat it as if they're veering and do a right step or a side step accordingly. Heel. Good girl. Heel. Heel. So since we want to keep our dog's attention when we're healing, if they're sniffing, we're going to treat it as if they moved out of position. So you can do any one of your warning steps, such as taking a long step or a side step. So when you start out, you're going to make sure you're using proper leash handling techniques. You're going to have your leash in your right hand in the locked position. Make sure you give your dog enough leash so that when you give your body language, that they're not getting automatically corrected. You're going to pick a straight path without any turns and make sure that you free your dog up whenever they're in the right position. When you start out, you're going to say your dog's name and heel one time. If they don't follow with you as you start moving, you're going to do your long step and use correction if necessary. Gypsy heel. Good girl. Heel. Good girl. Good girl. Heel. Good girl. Free. Susie, heel. Good girl. 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 Good girl.
Heel. Heel. Good girl. So once your dog is pretty reliably responding to your warning steps and you're able to go about rounded turns, you're going to start working on doing um, about turns, which is turning 180 degrees back in the direction you were coming in. So we're going to work on left about turns and right about turns. So we're going to start working on left about turns where we're going to turn to our left completely around 180 degrees back in the direction we were coming in. When you are working on the turns, you have to make sure your dog is in the correct position first. So if they're forging ahead or they're lagging behind, you want to correct that before you attempt making the turn. Just as you're about to make your turn, you're going to slow down your pace just to let the dog know that something's changing. And then slide your left hand down the leash pretty close to the clip so that as you make your turn and step in front of your dog, you're keeping them behind your left leg. Dawson heel. Good boy. Good boy, good boy. Dawson heel. Good boy. 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 As you're completing your left turn, if there's any tension on the leash or your dog falls out of position, you're going to repeat the word heel. Praise your dog once they're back in position. As you're practicing, you're going to need less and less pressure on the leash until you don't need to use any leash at all. Bust and heel. Good boy. Good boy. For the right about turn, you still want to make sure your dog is in the correct heel position before you make your turn. You're going to slow your pace just a little bit before you make your turn and slide your left hand down the leash. We're going to be pivoting backwards on our right foot and then making the turn um, completely around. If your dog doesn't come with you on the turn, you're just going to use uh, your leash pressure, rotate your wrist inward, and uh, guide the dog back into position while repeating heel. Draw some heel. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So you can see it's a step back. Heel. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. And eventually you won't need any leash pressure. Good boy. added in turns, you can start building on duration. Remember to praise your dog when they're in the correct position, when they respond to a warning step, or when they move back into the correct position after a leash correction. 
Dress and heel. Good boy. Heel. Good boy. 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 Heel. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So one of the components of heel that you may choose to teach is something called a halt, where we have our dog sit automatically when we stop without having to ask them. One of the reasons you may omit this is if you have an older dog or a dog with some hip or joint problems and you don't want to have them constantly sitting. If you did want them to sit, then you're just going to ask them using the proper command structure. So when you're ready for the halt, when you're walking along with your dog, make sure before you're practicing your stop that you're going to have your dog in the correct heel position with their front paws behind your heel. As you're getting ready to stop, you do a slow step to show them that you're changing pace. You're going to slide your left hand down to the clip of the leash. When you stop, you're just going to apply upward pressure and say sit. Dawson, heel. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Free. Dawson, heel. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Free. So the reason that you slide your hand on the leash when you're preparing to do the halt is so that you can keep your dog behind your left heel so that they finish in the sitting position with their front feet behind your left heel. Justin, heel. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Free. Justin, heel. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Make sure you praise your dog when they're in the sit position, and if you want to move forward again, you can either free your dog up so that they're doing a loose leash walk, or if you want to move back to the heel, you're going to say their name and heel. Dawson, heel. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Free. As you practice, you'll start to notice your dog sits automatically on the halt, and you no longer need to use leash pressure. Dawson, heel. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Free. heel. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, free. Dawson, heel. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, free. 